first of five playoff games this weekend. That's my, that's my wife. <laughs> Sisters and my brothers Keep the faith When the storm flies And the wind blows Go on at a steady pace My favorite carpool of all time Heading out to go to their Hopefully clinching game for the city championships For midget Whatever you guys are in Let's go boys, bring it Let's go Let's go, they're excited I'm excited I don't know, Brockton doesn't look very excited. I don't know, Walters <laughs> doesn't look very excited. I don't know, Levy, what about? Nah, uh, yeah. He's got his playoff beard, let's see. <laughs> my favorite thing to do is to watch my son play hockey. It's been a long journey for all of us. We've all watched our kids play a lot of hockey. Let's we'll see a score of eight, sure. <laughs> Go back a little further. Max's story started off with him loving hockey, but hockey not loving him that much. He wasn't very good, and he didn't make any of the select teams. We played at North Toronto, and they even had three select teams. He tried out for the A team, he tried out for the B team, and then he tried out for the C team, and still no luck. But in minor Adam, when the GTHL started, the league opened up. Max tried out for that select team and made it as a taxi player. Oh, Max. Why is Max in the ball? He wanted to start working really hard at his hockey, so up to Future Stars we went, five days a week, and hitting the outdoor rinks every day. He started to get good, and then he got really good. The next year, Max made the single-A team, and the following year, the double-A team after that. His hard work really paid off, and... And it was so much fun to watch. I, uh, I can't say it without choking up. I, I promise this is legit. I, I can't get it out. It's one of the most meaningful experiences of my life. You got him, you got him, you got him, you got him, you got him. Oh yeah! Yeah! Yes! Getting to learn the value of teamwork with your great buddies. Last year these boys were all playing in different, different teams, different leagues, and Josh beside me put this together, assembled these guys. Josh, how did, uh, how did that go for you? Uh, you know, all the boys wanted to get together, hopefully win a championship, and today is hopefully our day. Amazing. And you did a really good job, buddy. They, they, oh, I think you guys all had a fun time. And sitting to Josh's left is a guy we saw in a cast just the other day. We saw him getting fixed up after the game. Yesterday he was in a sling, he missed the game. Um, but these guys have been Hillcrest Canadians since day one. This is Mikey. And Mikey, you playing today? Oh yeah, I'm playing today. Another guy, the captain of the team, been out with a big injury. TJ, are you going to lock it up today, buddy? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, buddy. Is yeah, this in the vlog? Yeah. Am I in the vlog? <laughs> You're in the vlog, oh, <laughs> One of my favorites, Dan Broman, will unfortunately not be playing today. He's uh, yeah. Dan, we're missing you. I wish you were there. I know. I wish I could uh, kick these guys today, but you know, <laughs> <f> them. <laughs> yeah. Having some good old fun and getting away from screen time. It's hard to use an iPhone with hockey gloves on. This is a real big one for me. Not only getting to know the players on the team, but getting to know their parents. It's actually getting to know the entire family. Not just parents, but siblings and grandparents and even extended family. This was our first year on this team, and after so many years at it, we have crossed paths with a lot of the parents. Going to tryouts with them, having one of our kids make it and the other one not. Playing single A, playing double A, playing select. You'd have this odd relationship with parents that were from your neighborhood that you've known for a while, kind of, sort of, and your kids tried out, but they went different ways and you were always playing against them or you were playing in different levels as them. There's always a little bit of competition. Maybe friendly, maybe not so friendly. 
You respectively said your hellos and then went about your business sitting on your own side of the ice, cheering on your team and your kid. This year there was a bunch of those families and it was great to debunk the thinking that I had towards those parents and I'm sure they had towards me. We found something that's been working. We've been standing behind the other team's goalie for the periods and it's working so just squished in. Zemis, that's a big lens you got there. Quite a compliment for a guy like you. <laughs> so I stand back here and not over there in Gen Pop with my buddy here because we've always been on the bench. <laughs> and to sit there, I almost got in a fight. Game one. It takes a while. It's not easy to get in a fight with this guy. They're not mad at you that quick. That's right. But think about it. You're not a guy that's quick to look at the fight. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my goodness. Give it a kiss. I love watching my buddy take a picture of his kid with the trophy. That's the best. <laughs> that is a good shot. Been waiting a long time for that. <laughs> Once again, it proved that you really just have to get to know people. We all want the same thing. And I made some friends this year that I'll have for the rest of my life. The only thing that would have made this year more enjoyable would have been having my buddy, Coach Dan Broman, along for the whole ride. And there's no better way to get to know the parents than on the away tournament. But certainly one of the highlights of every hockey season is the away tournament. And this group of Hillcrusters know how to do away tournaments. What's better for the family than getting out to a hockey rink in Scarborough in a snowstorm in February? That's right, family fun. Max, like I, was very lucky to have a large extended family that is extremely supportive in coming out and watching the hockey games. Not to brag, well, yeah, to brag. In the final game alone, Max had 32 family members out to support him. That doesn't even include the friends that were there to support the group of guys. That is unbelievable. Throughout a GTHL season, there's lots of highs, lots of lows. The team gets through them together. Just this season alone, there were five of our players from the beginning of the year that weren't able to participate in the final game due to various injuries. But that didn't stop them from being there and supporting the team. They were right there to the very end and on the ice to celebrate with their teammates, as they should have been. Coming in second in the regular season, getting a bye in the first round, Oh my god, I'm freaking six seconds left. I can't breathe. Get it down. Save that, Chris. Get rid of it, get rid of it. That's it, yeah! Beating a Knights team in the semifinals. Both Max and I had played the Knights in the playoffs in GTHL before and were 0-3. Then knocking off the team that finished first in the regular season and won the President's Cup, the Goulding Park Rangers. Then representing the East in the GTHL final against the West champions, the Vaughn Rangers. And sweeping them in three for the city championship. Holy s, they're city champs! Let's go, Hell Ow! When the battle is fought and the victory's won, we can all shout together, we have overcome. We'll talk to the Father and the Son when we make it to the promised land. We don't ever have to worry Through this world of trouble We've got to love one another Let us take a fellow man by the hand To try to help him to understand We can all be together forever and ever When we make it to the promised land Sunday when we won, we thought we were done. GTHL champions. Time to get our bags cleaned and stored for the summer. Turns out we were wrong. The GTHL champion plays the winner of the Mississauga Hockey League champion, which is next weekend in Mississauga. No idea how that's going to go, but happy to have some more games and looking forward to playing the Mississauga champs.